Kathleen from basicblogtips.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about the social media management tool that I use and that's none other than Buffer. Before we get started using Buffer, I want to show you how to go over to the Chrome Web Store and what you need. First you're going to just search for Buffer. And the default search for the Chrome Web Store is for apps. And I want you to install the Buffer app. But I also want you to go over to the Extensions tab and install the extension. Now, I've, of course, I've already installed it. But if you don't have it yet, yours will say Add to Chrome. And you just go ahead and add it to Chrome. So here's what the extension looks like. Now we're over on my blog. and. If you scroll up to your Chrome toolbar, that's where you'll find the extension. Now from here, we can buffer the post. Notice that I can send it to so many different social media outlets. I can send it to three different Twitter accounts, a Facebook page, a profile, my LinkedIn profile. Also, I have other Facebook pages loaded in here. Now, if you decided that you wanted to tweet something different than the title, and this is something that I recommend, especially for your own blog, don't retweet the same thing every time. You know, mix up the titles. You want to highlight something, then go ahead and buffer it. And notice buffer will add the quotes around whatever it is you have highlighted. I like to take the quotes out, but it doesn't matter. You can leave the quotes in and then you could go ahead and buffer it. Now, another thing that I want to show you that is a benefit of having the extension. If you use a tweet button that's on someone's blog, in this case, I'm using the dig dig plugin, which is from the same people at buffer, which is Leo and Joel, and they have a whole team there. But let's just go over to the tweet button and it'll open up a window for your tweet. But notice now you have the buffer option. So now you don't have to just share that on Twitter, even though you clicked the tweet button, you can share it to any of those profiles we talked about earlier, LinkedIn, Facebook profiles, Facebook pages, whatever you have add it onto your buffer account. Now let's open up a blank tab in Google Chrome so we can talk about the buffer application. Okay, here are all my applications that I have installed on this PC and here's the buffer app. Now let's open that up. And just to give you a quick overview of the layout of the interface, you have all your accounts listed, over on the left hand side. Also, I want to mention that you can add an app.net account to your buffer as well. I don't use that one, but uh, all of your Facebook pages and profiles, LinkedIn profiles, and your Twitter accounts. This is where you will see analytics on this tab. This is where you will see the schedules for all of your accounts that you have in buffers. This is where you can change your schedules and this is your settings tab in the settings area you can designate a link shortener I use bit.ly you can add team members uh, you can reconnect an account sometimes the authorization expires and you need to reconnect it or if you want to remove an account let's quickly look at the choices for link shortening um, you can use no shortening I don't recommend that and I doubt if many people are using that option you, on Twitter you want to be able to get as much information in that 140 characters so that's why we use a link shortener and also you don't get any tracking at all if you use the unshortened link so uh, I don't recommend doing that but you can use Buffer's own link shortener, you can use bit.ly or you can use uh, j.mp. I use bit.ly, but I also would recommend using Buffly, which is Buffer's own shortener. Well, let's go over to the analytics tab. 
In the analytics tab, you'll see how many people retweeted, how many people mentioned you, and this potential is the number of followers that you have combined with anyone else who retweeted you. And if anybody favors the tweet, you'll see that here. And this is also how many clicks. In this case, there were 33 clicks. And you'll see that, you know, in some cases, I didn't get any retweets, but I got clicks. And you'll see this top tweet because I got mentioned and it also got clicks. So when things get activity and engagement, that's when you'll see that little top tweet. Uh, let me show you analytics for Facebook. Here's my Facebook page and some things I've posted. You'll see here's a top post here from Facebook. It got a couple of comments, likes. It got a reach of 253 and it's just without any promotion. That's not bad considering I have about 3,500 likes on my Facebook page and it got six clicks. So these are really valuable analytics that you're getting right inside of Buffer. Now let's go to the scheduling tab. You can set up your times for your scheduling. You can also set up a special schedule for the weekends if you want. Or any other posting pattern that you would like to add. Also make sure you set your time zone here. And when you're using different Twitter or Facebook accounts, you may be uh, tweeting for somebody else, especially if you're working as a social media consultant, then you want to set the time zone for that specific account for wherever that person lives. Okay. In case you're wondering how I get so much activity with buffer, here's where you would type in a blank tweet. Let's just say I wanted to say good morning peeps or something like that. Notice that you also can upload an image here, but this is something that I like to do occasionally. I like to use this, see this little heart. This is something that lets people know that you're using buffer and it also gives them an option to sign up with your link and that will be a referral for you, which will get more space in your buffer. So I do this every so often just to remind people, first of all, I really love buffer and I don't mind giving some buffer love, <laughs> you know, just to let my peeps know that buffer is definitely a great tool for social media management. One last thing I want to show you about Buffer is all the wonderful tools that are integrated with Buffer. And of course they have apps for your mobile. Then there's IFTT, Reader, uh, Tweetcaster. And I'll just scroll down here so you can see some of the other tools that are integrated with Buffer. But I'm going to stop here because this is my favorite and that's Scoop It. You know, I've done videos on Scoop It before. If you don't know what Scoop It is, you can check some of my videos out on the topic. It's a powerful content curation platform. And if you want to share something to Scoop It, let's say I wanted to scoop this article. I'm actually on the Scoop It homepage, but I can also buffer that to all those different accounts that I mentioned previously. And in the case of LinkedIn, you can also connect to LinkedIn groups. Thanks for joining me today. And while you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, connect with me on my blog, which is basicblogtips.com. And you can also follow my podcast. And that's the Miss Eileen Speaks podcast. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great day. Peace.